Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of uh, Thrifting Pickups. Now this episode is going to be a bit different. I actually got some footage of me in the store. I got some footage of the uh, Goodwill I was at, and I also got some footage of this uh, virtual game store I was at. So the series is sort of going to be changing a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more effort into filming outside, maybe interview store owners, stuff like that. Either way, let's just get started. Now the first piece of footage I want to show you, this is basically me at Goodwill searching through like records and shit and I asked this lady, hey, do you guys have any video games here? You know, maybe N64, maybe some Super Nintendo. She was like, no, but we have uh, some Xbox stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool, could you show it to me? And this lady just shows up with a shitload of games. Here's me just uh, searching through them. Sorry for not like talking in a circle beforehand. This is sort of like my first time doing this and I figured it's gonna be awkward. With the shoppers, seeing this guy with the camera, just talking to himself, looking through games, you know, that. That, that'd be fucking awkward. But anyway, like I said, the lady handed me this big stack of games. And unfortunately, it was stuff I already had. As you can see, you got some uh, Oblivion, uh, Skyrim, a couple other stuff. All this is stuff I already had, so I didn't end up picking it up. I actually picked up one game from this, a big pile of games. But still, the fact that I found all of this at Goodwill is amazing. I always try to go thrifting once in a while. Uh, there's a Goodwill right near me, near, near like a laundromat or something. So, you know, whenever I go do laundry or something, I figure, hey, why not check out the Goodwill? And it's usually nothing there. It's usually just old VHS tapes, something like that. You know, old uh, VHS tapes, old TRTs. You know, nothing I'm really looking for. Then I, then I go there one day and I see the stack of DVDs. I'm searching through them and I find this big stack of virtual Xbox games. I actually, I actually have the footage on Instagram. Let, let me let me show you. We just hit the mother load at the thrift. All these OG Xbox games. Granted, they're not much, but the fact that I found these at Goodwill is fucking amazing. I might pick these up. I don't know yet. Well, we'll see. So yeah, I finally got lucky at Goodwill. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, I've run into some more games there, which I'm most likely not because the Goodwills near me are, are garbage. There's usually nothing there, but still, you know, hopefully the next time I go there, I could run into, I don't know, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, maybe Def Jam, Fight for New York. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I might get lucky one day. You never know. But as you can see, I'm sort of getting into the uh, stack of games. And, and you know, like, like I said before, these Goodwills are, are, are usually garbage, but... As you can see, there's the stack of DVDs that I've flipped through. And right now, I'm going through the records. I'm, I want to get into record plays and stuff like that. I, to be honest, it just seems a bit expensive for me right now. I got to get a record player and a couple records. I don't know. It might be someone to look at. You want to see how we do football? Keep your eye on this. Now one of those games I did end up picking up from Goodwill was NFL Street. Now I'll be honest, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing in this game. I have no idea how to play football. I'm assuming it's just like John Madden, just with, you know, less rules and it has a street style and has an urban kick to it. I don't know. But this game, this game is for a dollar. I found it at Goodwill, so I figured, you know, I might, I might as well pick up something from from that big pile of games. But yeah, I guess this is NBA Street. Uh, again, not a fan of it. I'm gonna keep it just as a memento for me finding shit at Goodwill, but still. However, one thing I will give this game for has a great soundtrack. This game screams early 2000s hip hop. That that's one thing I that's one thing I will absolutely give it for. It has a dope soundtrack, great artwork. This game has a great aesthetic, just not a great game. But as you can see, here we are in the gameplay, and, and the graphics look the graphics look decent. I believe this released in 2004, so the Xbox 360 was sort of on its way out. E either way, this, this game looks graphically good, and as you can see by the gameplay, I have no idea what I'm doing. My character is just running in the background and shit. But so, the game is okay for what it is. Uh, it's, I guess it's decent at football. I, I honestly couldn't say... But either way, I guess onto some more footage. Now I filmed this at my uh, local retro gaming store. Uh, shout out to them. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, get started. All right, so this is a retro game store. I typically go to. They have a good variety of stuff. Some old school stuff. Some new school stuff. They they have a good variety of consoles. It's 
it's a decent place with great prices. And believe it or not, I actually picked up a lot of stuff from here that day. I'd say one of the things I picked up was a uh, original Xbox Duke controller. Unfortunately, mine kind of broke. I accidentally dropped it, and believe it or not, the Duke controller is actually really sensitive. I I'm assuming because the original Xbox really sensitive does not one, the plastic on the Duke controller is kind of brittle. It's kind of weak. And you know, I'm assuming over hours of use, the plastic gets sort of weak. So that that's just what I'm guessing. I don't know. I, I could be dead wrong. Uh, besides that, I picked up a uh, N64 game and a uh, PS1 game. But yeah, though, I guess uh, shout out to the uh, local retro gaming store I go to. Like I said, great prices, great variety of games, they sell consoles as well, so yeah, shout out to them. An evil empire is sucking the life force from the planet. Destroying all that's in its path. It's up to one soldier of fortune to save the world. If he succeeds, you survive. If he fails, you can always hit the reset button. Final Fantasy VII. PlayStation. All right, Final Fantasy VII. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a Final Fantasy guy. I do not like RPGs for the most part. But this, I'm willing to give a chance. I've been playing it for a couple days, still not quite into it, but I'm, I'm starting to like it. It's starting to grow on me a, a tad bit. Now, I don't mean to sound like a reseller or a douchebag, but I feel like I got lucky with this. I paid $25 for Final Fantasy VII. It's in good condition. All the manuals are in there. It's, it's, it's good. Now, if I wanted to, I could flip this for about, I could flip it for about 60 to 70 dollars now me personally i'm i'm not gonna do that and even if i do decide to sell it i want to give somebody a deal on it i may i may price it down i don't know 30 to 20 bucks similar to what i paid for it so if i ever decide to sell this game i, I want to give somebody a deal on it you know i, I don't want to i don't want to charge a ebay prices but anyway i feel like we're getting away from the game so final fantasy 7 like I said, I'm not into it. Uh, I'm somewhat into the story so far. I'm still in the beginning of the game. Like I can't get past this uh, scorpion boss fight. I haven't been able to save the game. But I would say for the most part, the, the game's good. But as for right now, I don't like it. Maybe if I keep on playing, maybe give it a couple days, maybe I'll love it. I don't know. The fate of the galaxy rests on the outcome of a race. The outcome of a race rests in your hands. <laughs> Alright, Star Wars Racers. Now, I don't, I don't really like Star Wars, to be honest, but I heard this was a good N64 game, so I decided to buy it, try it out, and it's actually really good. I mean, if you take away the Star Wars aesthetic, it's it's a, it's a good game. I mean, it, essentially, you're just, like, driving those pod things from Star Wars. Again, I I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars fan. But so, I'll tell you, it, it's a decent game. It's, it's not my favorite. Uh, I feel like there's better N64 racing games that I could collect out there, but I figure, you know, it's something to add to the collection. And sure, I may not like Star Wars, but, you know, fuck it. M you know, maybe I could be bored one day and I could watch the movie attached to this game and maybe like it. I don't know. But for the most part, that's really all I have to say about this game. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. No rush into it. Tell me down below. Have you had any look at thrift stores recently? Have you found any good finds? Have you picked up any good retro games lately? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Please let me introduce myself. Oh, Mary Man! <laughs>